let's just go to the basics of what the eco uh, on passive ecosystem is it is a single sign on uh, ecosystem where you enter and access multiple products and on passive services what is it in layman's terms it is basically a website you log in once with your uh, name and password it opens up and then you navigate around this ecosystem this online ecosystem and you can choose pick uh, various product services that you like might want to help you or just for browsing or social reasons it's entirely up to you that is the basis of what our ecosystem does so single sign on all products and services in one place once you've signed in you can access all of the products and services whether they be free or whether they be ones that you want to uh, take advantage of a free trial or in fact purchase once you have then you have access to them so what does it have for everybody not only is it a one-stop shop as far as the consumer is uh, concerned uh, with the products and services and you access it on one time it is also a absolute minefield of information uh, with every single product that you see in the ecosystem it comes with a user manual so for those people who aren't that tech savvy who aren't really quick at uh, picking up orientation of new products and new services and they need a bit of a walk through you don't have to even leave the on passive ecosystem to learn how to use that product whether it be free or whether it be one of the paid ones that you have purchased a lot of times i do it on a regular basis i will purchase something online and lo and behold i end up going to youtube clicking on uh, a YouTube to find out how to actually use it. You don't have to do that with on passive products and services or you do. They put out a manual, a user manual of how to do it. Also, on top of that, comes with a very handy AI chat bot. You'll see him floating around in your ecosystem. Looks like a little bit of a robot-y thing. And this is a completely AI auto-generated uh, chat bot area where you can put all of your questions in that you might want to have answers. Now, does it answer all your questions? And the answer to that is no, it doesn't. And if <laughs> there is questions that it can't answer, guess what it's going to do? It's going to automatically link you with one of our support staff and then you can then contact them and then they will be able to assist you in whatever you need when we say that the on passive ecosystem has something for everything what i've just said now is from a user's point of view this is a user who likes the look of a product and service that are on passive they enter they have a look around. They might be using the free ones. They might be using ones they've bought. But there's also other parts to the ecosystem. And that is there is an affiliate side to the ecosystem. And in fact, on passive. This means that you have the ability, if you want to, to be able to earn commissions as a reseller of the on passive products and services that you own. It's very easy to locate it within the ecosystem. It says right in the top center of your page, it will say become an affiliate. If you click on this, it comes up with quite a concise um, agreement that you have to read, understand and sign. And once you have signed that user agreement, then you have become an affiliate. Does it cost you anything? No, absolutely free to become an affiliate with uh, on passive and the ecosystem but you have to purchase the products before you can resell them to be able to earn a commission and within that agreement it will tell you all about the commission rates and all the rest of it we don't need to go into those uh, scenarios and figures right now so the ecosystem 
in brief, is a one-stop shop where you can enter, access various products and services without having to log out, log into another place, all in one place. It automatically redirects you directly to these new products and services within that ecosystem. Plus, there is more information of how to use it and also the bonus of if you want to earn uh, extra income through on passive, there is the affiliate area as well. What it is specifically with on passive that substantiates that we've got something for everybody, regardless of who you are or what you're doing. Even if you're not online, we're going to have something for you. Now, the first way we do that is through having, as you had mentioned, diverse products and service offerings, right? We can develop a range and have developed a range of products and services that cater to every sector on the planet, your various industries and customer needs. The second thing we've got is inclusive design. You've got to have that if you're going to have something for everybody. And these design solutions have got to be accessible, user-friendly and adaptable, right? Uh, they have to be for people with disabilities, different languages, cultural backgrounds, everybody. We also have to have scalability. We've talked about this. Mr. Mufar has talked about this. Um, offering scalable solutions on passive has them so that they can be tailored to meet the needs of the individuals, of small businesses, and even enterprises. We've talked about that up and down. Scalability is huge. We've also talked about the customization process. We've got to have that. We've got to be able to provide customization options uh, that will accommodate specific uh, customer requirements, and obviously the user preferences. So, I mean, life is, life is, uh, every one of these things that I'm mentioning, you can check off because on passive has got those. The next one we've got to have is affordability, right? Our pricing plans, they got to cater to different budgets, right? Including affordable options for in individuals as well as businesses, either small or large or whatever. We've talked about that. We know we've got that. Global reach, we've got that too, right? Our services have got to be, and they are, to a global audience. And they've got to accommodate different languages, currencies, and even regional requirements. We're already there, right? Partnerships and collaborations. Any company that's going to have something for everybody has got to have partnerships and collaborations. Now, we know we've got those. How many have we developed? 15 of them in the last year and a half? right, from partnerships with other companies and organizations and even experts. Shoot, he just, I think he uploaded an entire AI team to the to the staff, right, uh, for experts. And through this, we're going to be able to expand the offerings and the expertises that we have. Also, something that's really big that you're going to have to have that we've got in space is continuous innovation. We are investing in on passive we're investing in research and development. We've got the innovation labs. We've got all those things going for us to stay ahead of the curve and to address uh, any emerging uh, customer needs that may be on the horizon. Uh, there's also got to be ethical considerations, and we've got that too. Mr. Mufar has talked about that a lot of times, especially with regard to developing our own AI. And we need to be able to embed these ethical considerations into the product development, ensuring our AI systems, and specifically are fair, transparent, and uh, part of the development continues to make them unbiased in a way, right? And by embracing every one of these things, our passive as an AI IT company has got something for everybody, and it fosters inclusivity, diversity, and it certainly is going to have a global impact. So when we talk about having something for somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that we've got a digital solution with products in it that somebody's going to be able to use at least one of those. It means that the way we do business and the way that we have developed ourselves, that has got something for everybody. And uh, About um, uh, becoming an affiliate, about wanting to run your own business, we, you have everything under one roof because um, <clears throat> once you've signed that affiliate uh, uh, link and you've signed the, the um, agreement, it, you will get a, a section that says my links. Now, these are uh, then allow you to share the products um, with others. 
and I would strongly recommend that you look or watch the video sections because it'll give you ideas as to how the products work. Now, the other thing that I, I found very interesting was in the On Passive blog. So you go to onpassive.com, you look in the blogs, um, or you look at the bottom and, uh, where it says blog, go on to the blog section, and, and there are very, there are a, quite a few videos of explanation about the various products we've got on there, particularly things like Onet, Omail. Okay, now these are free products, so they're not going to make your business any money, but that doesn't matter because um, uh, we have with Onet a, a system which is a social media platform, which is a correction to the corruption. Now, this is a totally free system, um, but it's free speech system, but there's no cyber bullying. There's no trawling kids. You have to prove who you are. So you're going to be in a safe environment for your kids. That's that's the key for a lot of people. Omail is a, a totally secure email system, and that's going to be expanded out into various other bits and pieces. And there are lots of other things on there. As Jeffrey mentioned, there are products that are up and coming, as well as Otrim, um, <clears throat> which is out now, and obviously our video conferencing platform. But the key here is to get, if you go onto my links, you will see the connections or the links for the various videos. Now, you can share these with others. And if you share these, with others it means that you can build your business now the other thing within the ecosystem you'll see my um my customers and my affiliates okay so there's two customers and affiliates um and as redis pointed out before the vast majority of people that come in to use the products are going to come in just for that purpose to use the products they're not in interested in building a business but for those that of you that are interested in building a business when you see the affiliates you can actually compare the list and uh, you know i'm a great one for lists <laughs> um so i've actually got a list of of the affiliates and a list of my customers and i know who the differences are or where the differences are of those that haven't become an affiliate yet now, why do I say yet? Well, it gives me the opportunity because I know who they are because I've brought them in to actually be able to speak to these people and go, do you know or did you know <clears throat> you can actually build a business and on passive is going to be able to help you with that because it's going to do all the bits and pieces you can't do. This is why I'm here because it does an awful lot for me that I can't do. Right. So there's lots of things in there to help you build your business and lots of ways and means of being able to take advantage of building your business from the information that's in that single sign-on passive is a customer-based business that is the whole purpose of on passive is to have customers why is it a customer-based business because we are producing products and services for people to make their lives easier uh, what do we mean by that? If you're online right now, you've probably got a domain name. Uh, you've probably got a website. You might use video conferencing. You might use uh, a tracking device to see where and how your website is performing on the Internet. You might have a business that has an HR department where people uh, your employees clock in and clock out. You might be a person that does education online and many, many more products and services uh, that on passive have in the pipeline that are all going to be part of this ecosystem. This is why we are going to be a customer based business primarily because we make people's lives easier. We produce solutions to make their lives easier. As Jeffrey said, whether you're an individual, whether you're a business or whether you're a corporation or even country, we have solutions for the whole of these people. And this is why on passive is going to be such a big player in the internet space as far as digital products and services because of the need for people to have these. Now, what better way than to have them in one place. It makes so much sense. Now I can hear what you're saying, 
if it's that good, why hasn't somebody already done it? And I was on Andy's show last night and we were actually talking about this. Why haven't other people done what we are doing? Great question. And the simple answer is, is because other companies, they focus on one thing. They focus on the profitability of their business and how much they can sell their products for. We in Non-Passive produce these solutions because of the customer need and the value that we can give those customers. That is our focus. Because we're not tied by shareholders, because we're not tied by backers or people that have uh, funded us to be in this position, we are a privately owned company by a single family and that single family have decided that they want to do what they are doing within on passive because it is of so much benefit to so many people if you look at what we're doing the only other company that has ever done it really is microsoft when they put microsoft office together they uh, they brought in to make a package with excel spreadsheet powerpoint uh, Word documents and a couple of others as well and called it Microsoft Office and this evolved through the period of Microsoft but no other company has ever done it since then because of the pricing that it would cost because they're backed by shareholders or greed of wanting returns in a quicker way it's never been done so here along comes on passive for the benefit of the user to make life easier for the user, whether they're individuals, whether they're businesses, large corporations, or even governmental departments, with a single sign-on place that they can access multiple products and services. But the pricing is the thing that is going to change all of that. When you go out shopping, we all do it on a regular basis. We have our shopping list, you know, a rough weekly, monthly shopping list. However you go, you know, I need bread, I need milk, eggs, blah, 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 blah. You're going along and you're buying all the things that you normally get. You might have other stuff outside your list, but everyone has a basic shopping list. Whatever supermarket or store that you go to to do your normal shopping, if you see a two for one offer on something that you're already buying, what do you do? You buy it. Good value for you, isn't it? You know, you're getting two for the price of one on something that you're already going to buy. Here comes on passive, right? Our, on pa our products and services, digital solutions that we have developed in-house on our own. We haven't taken somebody else's. We haven't stripped it down and rebuilt it and made it somebody, you know, made it our own. Everything, every single product and service that we have within the on passive ecosystem has been designed and written by our own tech guys all over the world. We have multiple locations with multiple tech guys that do all the coding and do the building of the products and services. If there is a need for a product online, then on passive will design that product. But more than that, we are making sure that we integrate within our products and services the best AI that there is available, the most tech that is available, but also the best features and usability that we can possibly give. And like for like, it is like giving somebody something of twice as much for half the price. And this is what is organically going to happen is people are going to naturally see something that they use and pay for right now. Along comes on passive products. Hey, I can get exactly the same. This works better. It's easier for me. It's got more functionality and it's half the price. They're going to buy it. And this is where the affiliate program comes in because you can make commissions of the resale of those. But more importantly, from the customer point of view, it saved them money, but they're getting more. And that is the beauty about the costing side of on passive. Because we are not focused on 
the price and the company wanting the return on what they have invested, they are concentrating on the value that they can give the customer base because it's of need to them. And that is why the tables have been completely turned on how we have built this company, are doing business online because we're not focused on the money side of things. We're focused on what is good, what is best, and what is the best value. But if you have something else which you prefer to say, you have the choice, you know. Red was talking about on passive being able to produce solutions to uh, uh, make people's lives easier. Sure. So is that something you would agree with? Or? Well, there's a, I, oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? That's, yeah, that's the human-centric part of it all, is we're developing everything that we are based around human need. That's, yeah, he was spot on. You know, there's, there's two or three things here. The first one is there's something else that's supporting our theme today of, of having something for everybody that we've not really touched on, but so I'll just mention that. And that's our production of physical products as well. So even if you're not online, even if you're not into the digital era yet, we're going to have physical products that I'm guaranteeing you are going to want and you're going to need. And Mr. Mufar has talked about not only having inventors on the payroll, so to speak, you know, where we're coming up with new inventions and brand new technologies, but he's also going to be revamping a lot of products that are on the market so that they're going to be better products, a lot less expensive, because there are people out there that are really raking us against the crows because they know we want these products. So they charge 10 times what they're worth. So there is that. Now, Andy, a little while ago, he rightfully said, hey, the free products within the digital system, they're not going to let us earn commissions. I mean, he didn't say it like that, but that's what he means. And he's absolutely right. However, there is a side to the free products that can help our profitability because those products give a window into our business. They provide us more visibility and opportunities for others to join in our network. And through that, we can earn more and become more profitable. Now, there's another component that we can talk about that um, I think, Red, you, you skirted all the way around it and you alluded to it, but I didn't hear you really say it. But this is found in the fact uh, that we have automation and integration of our products and services, right? And to appreciate this, keep in mind, as you had said, you, uh, Red, that these the dozens of the digital products, all, all in the OES, they're written from scratch. They were written to work with each other to work together right? So whether you're using two or 22 of them, they all work together and they're all automated through AI. And of course, it's all under one roof. So man, you know, there, there's no need to go anywhere else because when you've got everything and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than anything else and the quality is more, uh, is, is superior, you know, it's kind of a no brainer that on is where you want to be. I'm going to go back to these so-called free products because um uh, i i think they're very important within our within this ecosystem particularly um onet and why do i think it's important there are i, I don't know if you're like me i'm i like listening to podcasts to uh, watching vlogs and and reading blogs and what have you now all of these people that i've listened to watch the videos etc they Ha they have this this section this little bit where they advertise a product because it pays for the system and they have all these followers and some of these followers buy these buy these various products now it, it, if you've got a a a social media network platform that actually allows you to do these things free of charge yeah so blogs uh vlogs and podcasts etc free of charge no problem um a, that's great but now think of it from the from the from the business perspective okay i i don't need to pay for those but wouldn't it be nice to have a little bit of income what about my followers well the followers are going to start looking at this and they will come on board just to listen to the videos and the podcasts and what have you but they'll have a look around the ecosystem as well and go oh that's interesting i'll rather like that well, that's interesting I'd rather like that um and you constantly see these advertisements being placed in the the other the other one the um that has 
you know these tiny URLs all the uh, all the time. Now again, people have to pay for tiny URL or Bitly or whatever you want to call them, and they normally go to adverts, etc., probably to pay for this. Um, but they don't customize it. Now uh, again, we've got a system called Otrim that is free and it's customizable. So wouldn't it be cool? for a blogger or a vlogger or a podcaster or whatever to be able to use the system introduce others to the system um for them to have a look at it as well but also more importantly to be able to podcast blogs and, and blogs etc not have to pay for it uh, but be able to advertise it with a a specific link a customized link how cool is that now, these people are going to come on board to listen to those and they become free customers. But, but, and this is the huge one, as they start to look around, and as we've said, there is so much in that ecosystem, as they start to look around, they will see other things. And those other things, oh, I'm using that one at the moment, but that's costing me X amount of money per month. And, and, and if we use the video conferencing platform as a good example, 10,000 attendees is six and a half thousand dollars a month. Guess what ours is? 125. Uh, hold on. That's a no brainer. I think I'll try this one. And because, as Red mentioned, this is value for money and we're not interested in paying you know, these idiot shareholders that are only interested, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money. We are actually able to be able to pay out 50% of the revenue that comes into the company in affiliate bonuses and commissions. Now, how cool is that? So you've got a company that's got everything um, that is far uh, superior to what's available on the market today at a fraction of the cost. Yeah, so they are creating value for money. Why wouldn't you use them? Why wouldn't you turn around and go, do you know what? I'll have a look at this. Blimey, this is brilliant. Now you go back to the previous company and you go, why the hell were you charging me X amount? Yeah. You know, the, the, you, you've been you know, extorting me for the last four years. Yeah, exactly. You know what? There's some other things. You know, you think of the trim URL. That is a great little program and it's free, but it's not just a trimmer. I mean, this thing, it, it shares and broadcasts. You, you can use it for, for publicizing on social medias. It can track URLs. It can do the user's location. I mean, you can do an alias, right, for the uh, shortened URL, all sorts of stuff. It, security within it will send you an email. I mean, it's a great program, and yeah, it's free. Um, the beauty about the OES is, like we said, it's got some that, something for everybody. People are allowed to come in, have a look. They don't have to leave any credit card details. They don't have to put on hold and 14-day trials. None of that. Put your name in it and uh, put your password in, and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. We, in On Passive, we do never, ever, ever pressurize anybody to do anything. It's there for people's benefit. And that is the number one thing for me that I love about On Passive. There is no pressure selling. There is no, if you have this and you can have this, if you upgrade to this, you'll get this. None of that. We leave it up to the individuals to say, yeah, I want that. No, I don't want that. I just want to use the free products. Fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. They can use the free products to their heart's content for as long as they like. There's nothing wrong. But as Andy has rightly said, in a year, two years, three years down the line, as we keep churning out new products, new services, physical, digital there will be something that somebody likes and wants. And as soon as that person then buys that product, guess what happens? Somebody will make a commission. And if that somebody, you are in their team, how cool is that? And that is what I love about this business. Plain 
uh, even playing field for absolutely everybody. You can't buy your way to the top. It's not the 2% that are making it. It's open to absolutely everybody. You can grab it by the horns. You can run with it or you can sit back, relax and let it trickle through. Entirely up to you.